I'm not having a very good holiday. I think it's just just being around my sister is really, really annoying because I can't even talk to her now. I can't even I can't look at her without thinking about this mess of of this child that she had last in February. You know, she's convinced that the social services are going to try and adopt him. Um, she's got a new partner. This partner has three or had three kids. The youngest is 11. And we found out today that he failed the test. It's just like, does anyone pass this test? This test that the social services have got to determine whether or not you're capable of looking after a child. Does anyone pass it? I mean, I didn't even receive the test. I wasn't, I had one hour, a, a, a one hour meeting with someone and give an assessment that I didn't deserve anything more than that. So I, I didn't even get a test. He did get a test, but failed it because um, they didn't think that he would um, reduce his hours. He was saying that he was going to take six months off and and then he's you know when when Sophie's other baby is born um he's going to take six months off and he's going to reduce his hours um and they didn't believe that he would reduce his hours so they they failed him on not trusting him and and it's just it's just it's crazy this is crazy to fail someone that has three kids because you don't trust them and then it's got nothing to do with that social services should be proving these people are not capable of doing looking after a child not not proving that they don't trust this person. I mean, you could say that about anyone. Oh, I don't trust that person. Anna doesn't matter. She's going to bring strangers into the house and we don't trust her with it. So what? It's not about trust. This is about you taking a child away from someone's family and, and, and doesn't give a sh- I don't, No one should give a shit about whether you trust this person or not. It's about, can you can this person actually do the job? I can. I didn't even get a test. I went to court. I didn't even... I wasn't allowed. The court determined that it was not necessary to get another test I mean, or to get any kind of test. I don't feel the first one was a test. It was it was just someone lying about me saying that I didn't want the child, which is bullshit. Just everything about this hurts me. I can't look at my sister without without being reminded of, of how just how disgusting humans are. The face of Ian just keeps coming back. I just want to beat him up. Like, seriously, I want to beat him up. And then the face of that, that woman... Like I just I can't I can't see anything but just her being a thick ass shithead and then just to think that the government is giving people like this the power these people social services make money off putting kids in foster care so any excuse that they can have to t- to put a child in foster care is actually going to benefit them because they're going to make money from it and I just I just I really think that this is it's either the elites have got to them and said, you know, we're keeping this child away from Anna because she's God. And, you know, I've got the whole music industry and stuff doing things about you behind my back. I can't prove it. I mean, I can prove it, but I can only prove it if you bother to look at the music and see how it relates to my everyday life. But people don't give a shit about wanting to know how I could be God. You know, people don't want me to be God. That's that's the, that's the truth of the matter. And it's just, there's so many people that are completely ignorant and social services is just one more bunch of ignorant prats. And um, I did actually get a response today, but it wasn't a response to me. It was a response to another person, someone passing my email on to someone else saying, this person, this woman, is, this lady is very sick. No, you the fuck are sick. You are sick for not letting me have raised a perfect, I'm perfectly normal. I'm perfectly capable of looking after a child. You the fuck are sick for thinking that I'm not Whatever, and I know it wasn't her that was responsible for it, but I am furious with the whole system. I'm furious with the whole system. It's I can't even I can't even think because I hate them so much, and I, I hate this world. I hate the people in it. Everyone walks around just like zombies, and it's just I just I really am really really I cannot enjoy this holiday. I cannot enjoy looking at people. I cannot enjoy being around people. I just I just this world is so fucked up, and I, I just hate people, and, and I. I don't even want to spend Christmas with my sister. I, I don't know if they're going to come up to Birmingham, but I don't think I, I don't want them there. I don't want to be around them. I don't like hanging around her. I don't like hanging around my family. I don't like hanging around people. I don't like seeing people. I just, I really, this world is just so shit. It's just it's so, so shit. And I, I can't, I feel like there's, there's two types of people, the normal person that is just a human, a normal human. And then you must have these other people that are just, there must be a small collection of people that are just furious with, with how people are and how people, how stupid they are, how, how the wrong people have power and the, oh, 